How's it going YouTube? MetalCrip89 coming at you again with a 4K Ultra HD review. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back and uh, I'm going to be doing a 4K Ultra HD review on Prometheus. Uh, it's a Ridley Scott film. It was released in 2012 and it is a prequel, I believe, to the original Alien film. Or the original Alien, I should say. Um... And I'll, I'll say it right off the bat, I enjoyed it more than uh, Alien Covenant. And I also think it's the best Alien film since Aliens. Yeah, Aliens. And here is the case, if you guys are wondering. So yeah, I ended up price matching it at Best Buy because it's or from Walmart because it's like $20 at Walmart. But I price matched it at Best Buy. I ordered it online, and cool story, I got it the next day from, or no, I ordered it at the store because I didn't have it in the store. And uh, I got it at my house in less than 24 hours. I think it was like 22 hours. Uh, it's the fastest I've ever gotten anything shipped to me from ordering it online. And, uh, unless they literally took it from the store or there's a distribution center here in Florida really close to where I live that's the only thing I could think of but anyway yeah that is the case there it is thumbnail boom shakalaka anyway uh, hold on let me put this down real quick Anyway, I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. You know what? I got my phone plugged in. But anyway, sorry, I'm just trying to keep my phone charged. I just wanted to do this real quick. Anyway, um, where was I? Prometheus was shot in, was it 5K? No, I don't think it was 5. I think it was, I can't remember off the top of my head. But I know it was like either 2, two or 3 or... Something like that. 2, 3, or 5K. I believe. It definitely is not a 4K digital intermediate. I know that much. Um, but yeah. Anyway, picture quality wise, like the overall 4K, I would give, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it a solid B, or a solid 8, 8.5. I think it's a little bit, the 4K quality is better than Guardians of the Galaxy 2 in my opinion. That's not to say the HDR, because the HDR it's still good. I'd give the HDR an 8. It's still really good HDR. It's not reference, but it's still really good HDR. Um, I know Brass Tacks and Spare Chains are big fans of the 3D. I'm just, I never really got into 3D. I owned a 4K, t or I owned a 3D 4K television for two years. It was my last TV I had before I got the KS8000 and you know I I still have a few 3D movies. Don't, don't really know why. I should probably get rid of the 3D that I have honestly but I still have some of the Blu-rays with it. But um, anyway that's besides the point. Like I said 4K is a solid 8 out of 10. You know I'm going to break this down 4K, wise, 4K picture wise 8 out of 10 HDR or, I said 8.5, didn't I? I'm not even remembering what I'm saying. <laughs> Shows you what insomnia does to you people. Anyway, 8.5 for the 4K. A little bit better than Guardians, I think, with the overall 4K quality. Um, HDR, I give, like I said, a solid 8. It was pretty good. Really, really bright scenes. Especially, like, the, the yellow glow from their spacesuits when they're in the caves. And the overall tone of the dark shadows. And the lighting that you can see, it's definitely a lot better than the 1080p Blu-ray that I saw. And any 1080p that I've seen, even the digital copy that I got on Voodoo, is um, you can definitely see a lot of shadow detail difference with the HDR on this. And it's a very, very good uptick in detail overall with, the, with all of that. And I would highly recommend it and definitely try to price match Walmart. The only way you're going to be able to do that is by going in Walmart and taking a picture of it or having somebody you know like I did somebody I know that works there took a picture of it for me and uh, 
then I went ahead and price matched at Best Buy. I just really don't like going to Walmart. I don't know how people around the world are with Walmart, but Walmart here in the States, at least for me, it's just not, not, not for me really. I tend to avoid it. It's just a shit show. No offense to anybody that works there, but it's just a shit show. Anyway, like I said, 4K overall picture quality, you know, gets an 8.5. Um, it's a little bit, like I said, and HDR gets an 8. Still really good HDR. Audio quality, Dolby Digital 7.1 to surround sound gets a solid, I give it an 8. It's really good for what it is. It could be better. There are definitely some standout moments, um, like towards the end when they're, um, when, it, when the shit starts to go down and the alien starts to kill everybody and whatnot. And uh, they die towards the end. Spoiler alert. If you haven't seen the movie. Obviously it's a horror film. A lot of people are going to die. But um, anyway. Um, it's a, Those are definitely some standout moments. So it's a solid 8 for me. And overall for 20 bucks, If you can price match it or get it at Walmart. Whichever one. It's definitely worth a pick up. Um, don't pay more than $20 for it. Because you can definitely price match it. If you find a way. In fact I'll even post a picture of the Walmart picture that I have on my phone that I got from my friend on the uh, 4K Ultra HD group that I follow on Facebook. And uh, just for you guys to help out. Um, anyway, this has been Metal Crip 89. Go pick, go pick this up. It's a great film. If you're a fan of the Alien franchise, I really think you'll enjoy it. Um, Michael Fassbender, or is it Michael Fassbender? I can't remember who plays David. But he's amazing. I, Idris Elba is amazing. Uh, no, no, Noemi Rapace, I think her name is. I'm saying that wrong. I know I butchered it. She's great. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a good one. And have, and uh, yeah, peace.